obviously right. the travel. Right. We didn't get in until two in the morning. So, uh, we're just physical recovery. A little bit extra for the guys that didn't play on Wednesday night. But today was just, you know, just a little bit of playing. Get them back up on the horse. Brian, when you're self-scouting, do you take the Portland game and then the RSL? I mean, how much each, does it one way more than the other? Or is there common things you're looking I mean, at? Scouting wise, I mean, like, when you look at your your team in terms of you know. Well, look, look, I chose to put out a lineup against RSL that look obviously didn't work. That needed to be a you know a, a near perfect game. They're at the top of the table. They're at home. Uh, we had shorter rest. I mean, there was a lot of factors that went into that. I thought what I said after the game still stands true. We give up a, well, sequence of events. Goals change games, right? Chu brings the ball to Albert's right foot, and normally he gets that on goal. It's a little ahead of him, to be fair to Albert. But then, if it's a little ahead of you, maybe he takes a touch, puts him in front of goal. The defender had already tried to intercept it back. We don't score. Then we fight a little bit more. They score that goal. Okay, you got to give Luna some credit. Uh, but we should have done better defensively. Take the first goal. Right after that, Masowski get, you know, Masowski's in. Goalkeeper's legs are like this wide. Kicks him in this right shin. I mean, just, that's it's how our season's gone. I mean, so we couldn't score. And then the start of the second half. Right. Came out okay. Watch that. Actually showed a couple positive clips. Defending, trying to win the ball back. Georgie, okay, gets around two guys. That's Christian, top of the box. Maybe he's got to pass that ball. Make it 1-1, one, one, but it didn't work. We lost two. So, just last one on that note. Is it fair to say when you talk about defending, your three blocks were overstretched on both of those? No, what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they beat us on two counters. Right. Mistakes that were preventable. So, whole... I think they're sending the MRI to our specialists, and it's three to four weeks. And in terms of Josh, have you saw him do a little light work today? Josh, not for this weekend. Probably, you know, look, it would be a miracle if he played against uh, Phoenix. But St. Louis, he's got a good shot for it. Yammer's totally okay. He played already. Okay. What else? Any other injury reports? Raul Drill and Oved missed Raul's, the last game. Raul's fine. Oved's fine. Hopefully a lot. But, okay, I'll answer the question seriously. Uh, let's just make sure expectations are in line. He hasn't played in a while. He'll be a little rusty. He's certainly going to bring excitement. Uh, he is on a time limit. But we'll get him in the game as the game demands, and we'll see what we can do. You talked about the, the physical recovery of the team. Mental, yeah. Mentally-wise, they're I mean, still good. Yeah, they're still riding high off of Sunday? They were, they were, look, you could make an argument I don't know if I agree with it, Jackson, but you can, mention, or you can make an argument that it was such an emotional big game and then you fall flat the next game, but it was a mixed group, so that group should have kept some of that momentum going. Uh, we'll see what we get out of Vancouver. I think we have a little score to settle there. I don't think anybody liked any, any of those guys liked the way that game turned out the last time we played them. So I think we'll be fine. Kind of to go off on that and some of what uh, must be done going to. I mean, you did rotate the... The squad we have, like, it was six changes. Is there ever, like, when you look at that tape and you see the talent of a position you were facing, is there some lead way on, like, you know, it's understandably that they would have had a hard time, or yeah. there's just... Yeah. But what are, what are your, your hands are touching them, but The only thing I would have changed, if you want my, my reflection on the whole matter, is we haven't won an RSL since 2011. And so, with a maybe the tactics could have changed a little bit. Maybe we don't press as high up in the field. Maybe we back line of five. You can think about playing that kind of game. Would I do it over again? I don't know. Maybe. And uh, what was your overall now assessment on uh, the reasoning behind putting Sota where he did and how he Sota's played played there. right back in the minds a lot. You feel like he was fine. He was fine. You switched the 4-4-2. Four, four, I mean, what were you hoping to get there more offensively? I just wanted Jordan to get in front, up in front with Masowski, see if those two can change the game. Yeah. Your center back, Jonathan Bell's played, started a few games here. Is there a competition there? There's or? competition. 
think that was one of the biggest parts of our conversation this morning. And that's good on the kid. What has he brought for you then to make that competition? Athleticism, good left foot, steady eddy play, good athlete. Run a lot of things. Decision making? Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, it, it was ask if that was a one on one conversation, or what do you mean when you had that was one on one? No, amongst the coaches, Jada. Okay. Whether he should continue to play, not play, start, not start, that he's in that conversation now. Very good. Dangerous player. Still needs a lot of work. Look, he's exciting kid, exciting to watch. I can get it. The fans love it. Uh, you know, but that play that I'm talking about, you know, does he have that one final thought? He needs to slow down a little bit. Once he does all the hard work, he needs to slow down and then take another look, see what, you know, maybe the decision needs to be changed. Maybe the pitcher's changed. But the kid certainly wants to be here. He certainly is entertaining. And I would say the one thing that goes a long way in my book, the kid has worked and worked and work. You look at his physical numbers, the amount of distance he's covering, sprinting, sprinting VHID, goes back and defends. He's he's done a lot. You said that one of the things would be a conversation with Craig about him. And yep. Because of Leo's time. We're having time. that at 2 o'clock. <laughs> Will you tell me at 3 if, it, if he signs? <laughs> Give us a call. <laughs> you, might, call. you might hear that. <laughs> look, it's a team sport, Jeremiah. There could be, you know, we, had three, we took three red cards. I mean, maybe you can point to that. Maybe that's why the team is dysfunctional in some ways. We had the injury to Albert right away at the beginning of the year, right when we trained all season long like this, like X, opened up a door for a guy that's got seven goals. So, you know, there, there are certain things that the team needs to figure out. I think that it's a little unfair. Let's get Pedro in. Let's get a group together that plays four or five games together. <laughs> we've talked to him, we've shown film, we've done all the things. Albert will start scoring some more goals when the team's in a good club. I have confidence in him. Jordan, I hope for the same. You know, when he's playing out wide, he can give you this. When he plays up front, he can give you that. You know, is it enough? We'll have to see. Is it enough? Then Craig and Adrian will have to make decisions. I mean, that's, that's where we're at. And that'll depend on De La Vega. So when De La Vega comes back, you're going to have real competition. Where is he going to go? Any early thoughts on Vancouver? The way they